Your affordable anime looks very good without exceptions. Their works are absolute eye candy thanks to their integration of CGI and dynamic camera work as well as their phenomenal compositing. But which affordable anime looks the best? Let's find out. I've done one of these before for Studio Mappa, but the idea is simple. I rank every affordable anime that I have seen, that being 7, based on their all-around visuals. Also, I am considering Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works and Fate Heaven's Feel as different entries. Cry about it. Like and subscribe to make me cry tears of joy i don't know just like and subscribe number seven today's menu for the emia family well it's a bit unfair isn't it a fate spin-off cooking slash slice of life anime it's the weakest looking affordable title and yet it looks really good when i said it's unfair i meant it's unfair for other studios why does a slice of life anime look this good it doesn't make any sense it features shots like this and this it's absurd if you were under the impression that it looks average you are sadly mistaken the most negative thing i can say about this would be that out of all the affordable anime, this one probably looks the most like shows made by other studios. It intentionally lacks those gorgeous 3D backgrounds and the composite is very normal looking, but the actual artwork is incredible. You may have seen the Le Epic volleyball playing all over the internet, well this is where it comes from. Number 6, God Eater. Now here's the thing, Ufotable uses a lot of CGI in their productions and it mostly leads to the final product looking even better. However, this was one show where I felt their CGI stood out in a somewhat negative way. God Eater also had several production issues which led to multiple delays. Now Ufotable is an extremely organized studio and they definitely value quality over quantity and pretty much always have a healthy working schedule. However, this was an exception. And that's probably the reason why some stuff in this show comes off as awkward looking. But make no mistake, there's still that phenomenal composite and top tier effects animation throughout this thing. Taking the somewhat of putting CGI out of the equation, it's a very good looking show with amazing cuts of action throughout. Number 5, Fade Zero. I believe Fate Zero was the point where Ufotable essentially perfected their CGI edit camera movements. On top of that, we had Nozomu Abe's phenomenal effects animation. While the composite isn't the insanity that we expect from the more recent Ufotable shows, it's still really good. Yes, it lacks the explosive action animation or the complicated and cinematic storyboards that newer Ufotable anime have an abundance of, but for its time, it was unreal. The fight between Kiritsugu and Kire had camera work that very few shows can replicate, despite the fact that a whole decade has passed since Fate Zero finished airing. Believe me when I say this, Ufotable is always ahead of its time. Number 4, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works. Basically every positive thing I said about Fate Zero but somehow even better. Significantly more dynamic camera work, better looking CGI, competent digital effects and a very complex composite overall. Also remember how Fate Zero had that incredible effects animation we talked about, mostly thanks to animator Nozomu Abe. Well Unlimited Blade Works has them too, in fact it has more of them. I swear every single scene looks unbelievable. The way they handle their CGI backgrounds and use them to produce those dynamic camera movements I keep raving about, it just gets better with every affordable show. But they really stepped up their digital effects for this one, leading to their composite looking the way modern affordable shows do for the most part. A very good looking show overall. Number 3, Kara no Kyokai. The most insane thing is, out of all the shows in this list, this one is the oldest. Most of Kara no Kyokai aired between 2007 and 2009. 2009. Anime looked like this back then. At at that time, Ufotable hadn't quite perfected their dynamic camera movements and you can see a very rough version of this style being implemented in one of the Kara no Kyokai movies. This style would be perfected by Ufotable over the years. Also back then, they would do a lot more traditional 2D animation, even for the complicated action scenes, as opposed to drawing over CGI models. Not saying that they didn't use any CGI or digital effects though, they did, a ton of it. However, the best part about this series visually would be the actual directorial work and storyboards. It's unbelievably good. The gorgeous back backgrounds, the amazing storyboards, and the composite all collectively allows Kara no Kyokai to have a really strong aesthetic, stronger than any other affordable anime. Again, it's an older series so it lacks that blindingly good effects animation, but it's one of those shows that doesn't need it. Subtlety is one of its strengths. Overall, it's an absolute spectacle, although in a different way. Number 2, Demon Slayer. If I had considered season 1 only, it may have been a few spots lower, but considering the movie and the second season, it deserves to be higher up. It's the most recent example of Ufotable's visual prowess. Everything we talked about up until this point, the dynamic camera, the effects animation, the composite, the CGI, all of that is stepped up a notch for this show. CGI makes up whole landscapes, allowing for complicated movements. The composite is better than ever, perfectly complementing Nozomu Abe's phenomenal effects work to produce iconic scenes like this. Also, the digital effects are unbelievable, especially for stuff like Tanjiro's water-based attacks, which are a blend of CGI and 2D. Yes, there are instances where they overdo it a bit, 
it with their effects, and cuts may end up looking a tad bit awkward, but that's a minor nitpick. Demon Slayer is pretty much a perfect example of using digital effects and CGI in an otherwise 2D anime. And number one, Fate Heaven's Feel. Yeah, nothing comes close. Nothing. It's in a dimension of its own. These three movies, from a visual point of view, are pretty much perfect. A few annoying CGI blood effects aside, literally everything looks incredible. The storyboards are cinematic and well structured, the CGI is unreal, the camera movements are unbelievably good, and the effects animation is so good that it doesn't make any sense. It really is just perfect. Remember when the final fight from the second season of Demon Slayer aired and people kept saying how that's the best looking anime fight ever? Unfortunately, that's not true. Both the Saber Altar fights have visuals just as good as Demon Slayer if not better, and far superior choreography. While Uzui and Gyutaro were simply swinging their weapons at each other, Rider and Saber Altar were engaging in a carefully put together fight where everything simply made more sense. It's not just the actual fights that makes Heaven's Feel stand out. Every scene is absolutely phenomenal, whether that be a chase scene or just a character walking. Everything looks unreal. I have never seen compositing this good anywhere else, ever. Literally any frame from any of the fights can serve as an amazing wallpaper. Fate Heaven's Feel is not just the best looking ufotable anime, it's the best looking anime, period. Fate Heaven's Feel is how the ideal modern anime should look. And I know ufotable will eventually outdo themselves, they always manage to, but I simply cannot imagine how an anime can look better than this. I just can't. So that was it. How would you rank these shows based on their visuals? Comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time.